got Mr. Beast. Seven days straight in the cave. So I guess he's doing his own challenge. Get in on the action, Mr. Beast. Do your own challenge. What is going on? Hold up. Alright. I don't normally do intros like this, but I'm currently descending hundreds of feet into a cave that runs over five kilometers. He's doing his own challenge. Good job. And whether we like it or not, as soon as my friends and I touch And you ground, save money this way too. Whoop de do! You don't gotta give away money. We are officially stranded here for the next seven days. <laughs> That might have been the scariest thing I've ever done. First things first, we gotta get really far away. There's that Katie Dad on the Alvin and the Chipmunks, that one movie. Chipwreck. When they got lost on the um sea, when they got lost in the river, it's the little river right here. They got the little pot of gold and everything on there. You just go through the water cave right here. Flash flood. Fill up like an ocean and potentially drown us all. Which is why we're going deep into the cave to set up base camp. Bro, this is just wicked. Dude, this is like a different world. This cave entrance may be beautiful, but looks can be deceiving. We didn't know it yet, but the next seven days will by far be the hardest of our entire lives. Where's the camp? Alright, it's gonna get dark in a couple hours. If we don't have a camp, we're screwed, okay? Do you have any idea where you're going? We're just looking for flat ground to set up camp. Upon entering the mouth of the cave, we stumbled upon an area with high enough elevation to protect us from any flash. There's gold flood, in it too. That it was perfect for camp. Look, 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 that's the part I was talking high about. You see how it's light there? That's the gold lighting up. Upon entering the mouth of the cave. Look, see, see the light right here? That's still that's that gold, bro. We stumbled upon an area. Bro, people been trying to get here for centuries, bro. Centuries! With high enough elevation to protect us from any flash flooding, meaning that it was perfect for camp. Perfect is a crazy word. Good enough is what I would use. Good enough for camp. We spent the rest of day one grabbing our supplies that we were dropped with. Each one of these bags weighs like 80 pounds. And as you can see by the footage, we spent around four hours. This is very hard to traverse. Getting all of it back up to our base camp. All right. We've got some lights on in here. Our supplies are finally at our home base. And if you point the camera over there, you'll see it's pitch black. Hour 10. It took all day. And so we set up the bare minimum for camping grounds. We drilled holes to hang up some ropes. Grab these, pull yourself up. Looks like the ropes will be able to support hammocks. And with the hey, help need to be of handy be in Mr. Beast videos, tell you that. This thin rope I ain't handy. <laughs> yeah. I only do one day. dinner and prepared for a very cold night one. Not gonna lie, this hammock is uh, way more comfortable than I thought it would be. Hey. God. <laughs> Why is my head so big, bro? <laughs> the hell? Part of the cave is two and a half kilometers deep. Just go to see what goes at the entrance. Tomorrow we have a lot of exploring. How'd you guys sleep? Horribly. I didn't. It's a very perplexing environment. The cave's constantly dripping water on us from above, so we put a tarp so on us. But even still, the water's dripping into our hammocks. I have an idea. Let's make our shelter actually good. I say we connect these tarps so we stay dry while we're sleeping. Yeah. That's literally genius. I'm not just a YouTuber, okay? My hammock gets That's what I'm right saying. Here. That's what I'm saying. You gotta have to be handy, bro. Right now? This is where I just got out of bed. Do you remember the first time you got a new console for Christmas? Or sitting down at your All right, whatever. Super Smash Bros. Or and we didn't realize it at the time, but this hole is almost 40 feet deep. So while Sean and I got started on the super tarp, Mac and Carl went to see how dangerous this hole was for themselves. Do you see my hammock up there? That is where I slept. Now look at this. And because everything looks the same, and it's probably pretty hard to follow us in this cave, on this map, you can see our home base and how far they're moving away from it. All right, Mac, it's been real, bro. Oh, bro, this is crazy. Well, the boys are randomly exploring. Me and Sean actually have to work on the camp. Why is there a sleeping bag over here? Uh, because it smelled like pee. Yeah, you pissed the bed. Like, your sleeping bags. Why did we rent sleeping I, bags? I, Why did we not just buy sleeping bags? We're zip tied the, the rain made them pee. To create one mega tarp. Don't mind me, just <sighs> trusting this rope with my life. And meanwhile, Mac and Carl were still in a hole. Oh my god! <sighs> and eventually, they finally made it to the bottom. Hey! We're supposed to be working on camp. Where's that we other dude that that got in trouble? Camp was. Just don't fall. It's a skill issue. Oh, okay. And even though they should have been on their way back, Carl and Mac insisted on seeing how deep they could go. Bro, this just looks so crazy. You think you could make it through the river? I can even swim. Do these two know this river actually runs throughout the entire cave, which means we'll be spending some time in it. Oh, there they are. Tell me you 
guys cooked? Oh, we cooked. We That's turned right. to base camp. A new home, am I right? Let's go. We now have a roof. Look Stop. at this. I'm not gonna lie, you actually kind of crushed. And we moved the fire pit to this little cove we found. What do you think? It's warmer. It's cozy. These rocks trap the heat here and block the pee from the rocks above. It's not cool. What, what, what do I call it? I don't know. Maybe rain or something? But it's not rain. It's rock. Maybe rocks rain. piss. Do you see clouds? No, you see rocks. So <laughs> Rocks are pissing. Rock pee. This is a real definition right here. Rock pee. The drips from the cave ceiling. Most definitely not the pee of a rock. Rocks and pee. That's it's possible. Rock pee. Fine. All right. It's rock pee. And after a much drier night of sleep, we decided to have Joel. They can't move. I'm saying rocks can't move, so you might as well just do it. Help us get what all the way to the end of the cave. 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 That Doritos. Cave. Cave. Yeah. Let's see how deep in the cave we can make it. Now, keep in mind, we are still just at the beginning of this massive cave. And our goal is to make it all the way through it without dying, of course. Oh my gosh, this is kind of steep. Bro, you ain't seen nothing yet. We're going deep in the cave. All right, boys, suck in your guts. It's where things get tight. I don't actually think I'm gonna fit. The interesting part about cave exploration is one second, you're barely fitting through cracks in the rocks. Oh my God, this is so tight. And then the next, you're in a massive chamber, so big that in order to to see it all, we had to do this. You need to make a firework. You had to blow up the rocks. I probably ain't trying to do nothing to blow up the cave. <laughs> we made it. We're out. Well, look at how cool this is. It's so bright. I can't even look at it. I'm like getting blinded. Oh no. Oh no! In hindsight, we probably didn't use Bro, that Jimmy's that one dude you go to on a full of July, bro. If you want some fireworks, he's your guy. <laughs> he's your guy. He always has some fireworks with them for some reason. I don't know why. Effectively, if you want some explosive or something, raise that one dude at school, bro. You go to for like the uh, 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 the um, the little special joints, bro. The little special joints, the little blow up, the senior pranks, and whatnot. Everyone gonna go to him in his locker, bro. And he's gonna be selling it. And so he's one of the I could tell he was one of those when he was growing up. <laughs> you like, oh, yeah, you want to blow, uh, you want some fireworks at jail? Go to Jimmy, his locker is 209. Yeah, he'll hook you up real good. Joe Fred is a really good handle at the top right there. Here. And then you can sort of swing a foot around onto this one. Like this? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Joel, the best caving guide ever. <laughs> no one's died yet. All right, guys. You want some TNT? Hit up Jimmy. He got it. Things get interesting. <laughs> what? What is this? So from this Not no school on, threat type suits. ish. But, you know what I'm saying, just, was, just in case someone wants something, he got it. Jack and Carl were joking about doing this, but the rest of this cave adventure takes place in a freezing river. Oh my god, this is insane! Meeting wetsuits are the only way to not get hypothermia. Why are we doing this? This is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. It's because you die after you do it. So in order to get to the end of the cave, we have to hop in this river and fight the rapids through this tiny hole in the rock and carefully squeeze our way through it. Take your time, it will take your feet. So it's like a maze. It's like a maze. Like a real, like, maze. Follow, follow the wall around it's to the It's so north. cold. Okay. You got it, Jimmy. Ah, I don't know if I fit. Jimmy, I need you to pull yourself up out of the water. Oh, my God. What's crazy about doing this ah, it's so cold. is when you're completely submerged in freezing cold water, gripping onto the rocks becomes incredibly hard. Ah, oh, my gosh. That was crazy. Matt, Carl, let's go. <laughs> we got this. <laughs> Keep going. Look how crazy this is. Yeah. And even though this obstacle was difficult, it's nothing compared to what's up ahead. We did it! Which means we've only scratched the surface of this one. expedition, and we still have over two kilometers remaining to reach the end. What's two kilometers? Like see, ten miles? It rains in this cave 24/7, so I'm making a chill spot for us to hang out in and not get wet. I wonder what it would look like if I wasn't here to build all this. Pretty sure they'd just be sleeping in a pile on a wet rock. Why don't we keep moving now that the bodies are wet? Alright, so I thought he said there's bodies down here. What the? You're running Alvin so and shit months, bro. Every inch we go this way is an inch we gotta go that way to get back to camp. As a disabled business owner, my time is mostly spent writing emails and. Our next obstacle may be out of the water, but that doesn't make it any easier to get through. Oh, is that a spider wing? Spider? I don't see a spider. That means it's probably on us. Oh, it's on you, it's on you. I hate my friends. <laughs> this game is like a Mr. Beast video. Don't do that, bro. I did it to my brother when I said there's an ant on you.
And I was playing with them. Then once, and about like 10 seconds later, it was actually an ant on me. Don't do that. I hate my friends. <laughs> this cave is like a Mr. Beast video. The further you go, the harder it gets. Just straight up, if we didn't have Joel, I'd be dead. And after three hours, Joel had some bad news for us. The water's too high and we've taken too long. We're gonna have to turn around for today and head back to camp. I disagree! You can't disagree with the safety expert! I disagree! Well, we can't really disagree. It turns out we wasted way too much time filming and playing with flares to the point where we now had to restart and attempt this mission. Yeah, you want a flare gun? Hit up Jimmy. Locker 209. Another day. You want to order oh, a senior prank? Hit up Jimmy. He got the fireworks, the flare guns, the TNT. Hit him up. He got it all. What'd you do while we were gone? I know it's been to be booming around 4th of July. Hopefully nobody gets wet now. I didn't even know he packed lights. Yeah, they're awesome, right? Sadly, we only made it 20% through the cave today. But mark my words, we will go the distance in a future day. I doubt I, it. That's not going to happen. We will rest on day four, and then on day five, try to go all the way to the end of the cave and see what's there. Day three was a lot of fun. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And after a third miserable night in the cave, the next morning we only had one thing in mind. A hot shower would literally save my life right now. Oh, showering would be awesome. I haven't showered in three, four days. As you can imagine, bro, it's already it's raining. Yeah, take a shower in that rock pee, bro. Just take off your clothes and let the water do its thing. At a cave, is it? I don't know where you're gonna get the soap from, but you know you got the water, you got the soap pee. We had to hike all the way back to where we were held in to safely reach the riverbed. Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, I feel my brain. I've never felt my brain like this. My forehead is frostbite! Let's use the drone. Oh, that, to dry yeah, you say shower on that. Use that as soap. Okay, stop, stop. It's actually working. Yeah, it is working. Who needs a hair dryer when you have a drone? And after we dried off, we sat down with Joel to plan our journey. What is this, Joel? This is the map of the cave. We got new clothes. Time, we had to stop because Why do you pack new clothes? Water, but the rains have been slowing, so we might just get a window to reach the end by tomorrow. Dude, this is about to be wild. First, we'll need to pass some of those same rapids from yesterday, dive off massive cliffs, and avoid jagged rocks. And if we can make it past all that, we will finally make it to the beautiful glowworm chamber. Don't tell us what that looks like. Oh, okay. I want us to be surprised. Do you think we're going to make it? Whoa. Nah, let's not play that game. We're all going to make it. <laughs> With tomorrow's plan thoroughly mapped out, we rested up and made feastable s'mores to regain our energy. Everyone, cheers. Yippee! Oh, that looks good, Mr. Beast. You want to try to hook me up for free, Mr. Beast? For the free ski? For the free ski? We this chocolate out earlier. This just got like 10 times more fun. Guys, for real, if you've never tried s'mores with Feastables, you're really missing out. Tomorrow, we're going to explore for the, the entire cave. We'll see you guys then. So we tried to sleep as much as we could and prepare for tomorrow's journey to the end of the cave. We're about to embark on one of the most dangerous journeys of my life. Because of our experience from day three and focusing journey on the end of the cave, we were able to make progress way faster. I can't see the objectives because I'm in the way. And I'm not moving my face cam. And to ensure our best chance of survival, in addition to Joel, cry about it. survival expert with us. This is where we had to stop on day three. How we doing? We're making much better time. Behind us, it's pitch black. Where do we go? This area gets narrow. Uh -huh. The current's strong. So we're going to use the walls and kind of climb our way along. Yep, here we go. Jump for that first rock. There's a couple of good rocks around the corner as well you can get a hand on to. <laughs> it's so dark down here. There's no bottom right now. My feet aren't touching the ground right now. Because we couldn't reach the ground, this meant that if we let go now, we could get swept away by the strong current directly beneath us. Joel, what are we doing? I would go into here if you can. That's okay. a good one. I can't even see where I'm going. I'm going to <laughs> Too much water, y'all. I need a towel. Someone give yeah. that man a right. towel. Ever been, and we're now approaching our first serious obstacle. Okay, basically, What's that? the water's recirculating, so if you fall in, it takes you to the bottom and it keeps you there. If we fall, we would die. Yeah, okay, so death is on the table. This is just not what I thought. Brother, stand on look, look, no, 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 look, 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 that's not an object. You see these little rocks right here? You can just go side to side like this. Move inside the side like that. You can just like a, a, a parkour. You know parkour, Jim? You can do some parkour, right? Okay. Jimmy and the boys. We would die. Yeah. Okay, so death is on the table. This is just not what I thought I was signing up for. Yeah, parkour. Parkour, yeah. Side to side, Jimmy, side to side. Can you tell how strong this river is? Because it created this entire cave. And 
fun fact, we're not as strong as a cave. I'm barely as strong as a human. Well, fortunately for us, rather than Carl leading this expedition, we've got the literal Avenger, Joel. And just to prove how much of an expert he is, this man literally flexed on us by jumping off a cliff. Oh my god. You're crazy! Who else was a bit crazy? Surely one of you guys are keen? I'm crazy! No shot you want to do that. What are you talking about? I'm doing it right now, baby! Let's go, Joel! Guys, be back! After everything Jimmy's put me through, this ain't that scary for me. Three, two, one! We gotta keep going or we won't hit the end. He oh, had an excuse not to do it. <laughs> he said, all right, it's man's on now, bro. I'm having no fun. Are we always fighting the current. I might just start drifting away. I might just give it up. There are sharp rocks underneath the water. You cannot see them, so watch your step. Oh my god. It's getting deep again. I can't. I need to put my feet up. And if the sharp Oh, they're swimming. Jimmy, know, you know how to, y'all know how to swim? Downstream. Well, they all white, but. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, that's pretty away. impressive. Just give it up. There are sharp rocks underneath the water. You, you cannot see them, so watch your step. Oh yeah, wear some flippers or something. I can't. I need to put my feet up. And if the sharp rocks weren't enough of a challenge, it seems like with every step we took. Oh, bro, I can't see anything. This is terrifying. The cave became darker, tighter and ruthless enough that we began to question if we could even get to the finish line. This is awesome. This game is about to get a lot harder and I have something I need to show all of you. Joel, can I see your bag? Thank you. You know what you've been carrying? What have I been carrying? The brand new this yep, I know this ad was coming. Yep. Honest, guys. As you can see, I saw the commercial for those. On, I saw the commercial for those on Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon. Been going through for the past five hours, I'm clearly in no shape to tell you about this right now. And so, a month after we filmed this, I built an entire cave set, threw on my future Jimmy name tag, and then said, "Hey, future Jimmy here, and I'm going to tell you about my brand new toy line, of Mr. Beast Lab Swarms. It's a collectible toy line with over 119 uniquely designed characters that you can collect. And the coolest part is to find out which." Yeah, I saw this commercial already, Mr. Beast. You can't, you can't fool me. I'm familiar with your game. Now that this is that's the only Mr. Beast I'm gonna skip, cause you can't do it while in a video. That one time, hey, cause usually he does it, he does it while I'm filming the video that we're watching. But this time he was too tired, so he had to film another video. Familiar with your game, Mr. Beast. You can't fool me. What do you do? After more now available everywhere in the world, you buy toys. They're all out now. Go give them a try. And after more brutal trekking throughout the cave, we finally arrived at the glowworm chamber. Man, at one time, be worth it. at one time right, he had a separate James. video for the ad. Welcome I skip it. Whoa! Holy crap! That Jimmy, he low key look like you and Luca Doncic low key look alike from this angle. The glowworm chamber. Whoa! Holy crap! That is crazy, dude. This does not look like it's Earth. All of the lights you see here are actually created by tiny bioluminescent glowworms. That kind of looks like the Milky What's Way. What's a glowworm? Wow. At this moment, what the hell is a glowworm? Honestly, made that trek worth it. While making it to the glowworms was definitely worth the trip, our journey was still not over because we had to go all the way back to base camp. Had to go all the way back? Six, they're not back, and I'm exhausted. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep though. Just worried with them being gone so long. The trip back is way easier because we're just floating with the current. Now, because you guys have already seen the trip, we're going to expedite the way back. But seriously, this whole journey took so long, we crossed into day six before reaching camp. John, John. What's up, guys? I was starting to get worried. Happy day six. Day six, let's go. All we had energy to do was stall out by the fire and finally eat some food. That was a very adventurous day. I'll see you guys tomorrow or later today. It is day six. Yeah, maybe today. I don't know. Despite being so just, physically so they just slept the last day. Literated from our excruciatingly long hike, no matter what I did, I was really struggling to fall asleep. Man, snore. You know he breathes heavy if you snore. If someone snores, that means they breathe heavy. I spent seven days in solitary confinement, seven days buried alive, seven days on a raft. And I'm gonna be honest, I think this is harder than all of those. You're constantly soggy and cold. I just keep hitting my body on these hard rocks and it hurts. 90% of the time, this cave is miserable. But between me and you. Jimmy! Yo! Carl! Can you see me? Ah! Ah! It's the world's brightest flashlight. There are moments of fun in this cave. 
conquering rapids 300 feet underground. For me and the boys laughing in our hammocks, <laughs> all the misery is worth it. Because when you're in good company, let's make whale noises. This wet, cold, rocky, miserable cave can easily transform into the most beautiful trip of our lives. Teamwork makes the dream work, yeah. Don't even know the people you love is all that matters, right? We cannot leave until everything is picked up. And when I say everything, I mean everything. <laughs> Let's get out of here. And after our journey back to the mouth of the cave. Oh, it looks so good up there. We had one more surprise for Joel. And before we head out, Joel, as a show of gratitude, we got you 50,000 New Zealand dollars. So it's 10 grand for every human you didn't let die. Oh, gosh. Thanks so much, Joe. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. What's his name again? Grand for every human. The show of gratitude up there. We had one more surprise for Joel. Joel, he's a real MVP. Grand for every human you didn't let die. Oh gosh, thank you. Yeah, so Jimmy, much. you. Yeah, yeah, I would have been cooked if it wasn't for him. If it wasn't for him, y'all would have been cooked. Yeah. Let's go, we Joel. love you, Joel. And now that we got that out the way. Let's leave. Woo! After seven long days, we're finally leaving.